Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Uh, the background's a little bit different. This is for my other channel, but I figured since I already have the camera set up and the light set up, I'm just going to sit there and film this today. I started another channel recently for more, more of my beauty Avon stuff because I know not everyone on my Mom's and Belay channel wants to to see about all this Avon stuff and different reviews that I'm doing about different products. But if it is uh, Mom Simple Life related, I will be showing it on my Mom Simple Life channel. Okay, so today I wanted to show you guys the Dr. Gardening, gardening books that you can get off of uh, growyourfood.com. I'll leave uh, the link down below. But this is called The Garden Doctor, and I don't know if you guys can see all these tabs here that I've tapped over. This is everything that could go wrong with your tomatoes, just alone. This is much information, you can see all these tabs here. I'm not going to go through all of these, of course, because first of all, they're not my books to be sharing information uh, for. They, uh, I believe it's, yeah, the Midlighter, you know, uh, Jacob Midlighter was the one that came up with all of these. He does have pictures, but I am gonna show you just a little bit, just so you guys could have an idea of just how much it actually shows here. So they do have pictures of like the tomato leaves and and stuff in pictures. I'm gonna cover up that verse in the back. But see, and this one, I can't even read it upside, okay. This is the potassium, what could be going wrong. So they show the tomatoes and the leaves and they describe what to look for in these books. So these I highly recommend. Uh, I would probably order these before the growing season just so you could have these and you can look through and you can know how to use these books. I highly recommend these books and I love these. Uh, just because they're not just, you know, they're not just pictures, they're not just... So, tomatoes, of course, is not the only thing. Let's see. Here is blossom rot here. And what it would look like and how to correct it. And here's some more here, what it would look like. And also how to correct it. These are miscellaneous. But just an idea, every single book is a little bit different. I think, let's see, this is book number three. So these three books will cover basically every single nutrients your plant would need. And so if you do find some of your plants anywhere from cucumbers or you know tomatoes to radishes, whatever you might be noticing is going wrong, uh, will most likely be covered in these books. I highly recommend these books. Uh, they're just very educational and I love the pictures and you know just the different information it has. It looks like it even has some in the very back here that I'm looking at here. Some of the gardening stuff that's covered in the Midlighter gardening book. So you can see I've opened this up so many times that it's starting to kind of fall apart here a little bit. But anyways, it shows you how to build grow beds and how high and how much feet in between. Talks about, yeah, the garden grow beds. So these are really nice, that's really cool. A lot of information, highly recommend it uh, if you're looking for a good, so I do highly recommend getting these books. I didn't wanna show you guys too much. I don't wanna get in trouble with copyright or anything like that of showing too much information because it's not my property. It's not my intellectual property to be sharing, but I do really highly recommend these books and I, I just find that they do have so much information in it. The only thing, like I said, that I don't care about is uh, that they are a little bit older pictures. Some of these, some of these are new, but of course, for someone who puts all of these books together, you know, over a huge stretch of time, of course, the pictures are going to be a little bit older. But it was a good book. I like these. Okay, see you guys next time. And don't forget to subscribe, like, and comment. See you guys next time. Bye.